Hey Wild Heart Yogis! So today we're going to be going over the foundations of Surya Namaskar A, Sun Salutation A. It's the very first flow that you learn in your yoga practice and it's the foundation of everything else that you do. So we're going to go over it step by step, okay? Inhale, reach the arms up, palms press, gaze comes up. Then here is relaxing your shoulders away from the ears, rolling the biceps in and then pressing the palms together overhead. This action happening here is the foundation of your inversion practice, your Bhakasana crow pose, your Pincha Mayarasana forearm stand, your tricep or your um, tripod head stand. Good. Exhale, fold forward over straight legs. He hinges at the hips, relaxes the head and the neck. Hands come to the mat. Good. Inhale, lift up and lengthen halfway. Find a flat back. Try to keep the hands connected with the earth. I know that some yoga instructors say to bring the hands to the shins or the knees, and that's not incorrect, but in your yoga practice, like all the poses are built from the ground up. So you want to keep your connection with the earth, with your mat, as much as you possibly can. Exhale, step back to your high plank. So he's high on the balls of the back feet, pressing the hips up towards the sky. You don't want the hips sinking. So hip, sink your hips just for a second. So you don't want the hips down here. You want them engaged. Engage the belly. Yeah, press the floor away from you. The space between the shoulder blades is pressing up and towards the sky. So you're not dipping, like you're not finding this dome, the separation of the shoulder blades. You're pressing the shoulders up and away from you. Yeah, gaze goes forward out in front of you. And then lower down, chaturanga. Elbows stay in nice and tight. He's hovering in his chaturanga. Wrists are in line with the elbows and you're creating this right angle. Yeah, gaze is forward. Roll over the toes, upward facing dog. Press the floor away from you. Gaze goes up and back. He's rolling the shoulders down and away, shining the heart forward. Yeah, finding space here. Good. And then roll over the toes, send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Shoulders are relaxed away from the ears and then like rolled in. So again, it's that action. This action is happening even in your down dog. So this sets you up for your Bakasana crow pose, your Pincha Mayarasana. Hands are spread wide, fingers are spread wide. Your fingers are a little bit engaged here. Gaze is at the belly. So the head is nice and relaxed. And then the sit bones go up and back, trying to get the heels down towards the mat behind you. Good. And then at the bottom of your exhale, you should feel the locks engaged. So your Uddiyana Bandha and your Mala Bandha. So when you take a deep breath in, you fill up. And then exhale completely. And at that bottom of the exhale, when the breath is completely emptied from your body, you should feel that pelvic floor engage and lift. So if you haven't felt your Bandhas yet, like that's a good way to start to get to feel them, to awaken them. Good. Deep breath in here. Exhale, bend the knees. So your sit bones are still shooting up and back behind you. Gaze is forward between the hands. Inhale, step or float forward between the hands. Halfway lift. You land in your halfway lift. Okay. Exhale, fold forward. Good. Inhale, rise all the way up. Arms up, palms press. Gaze comes up. Exhale, Tadasana, arms by the side, relax. Good, relax the shoulders down and back. Good, beautiful, you guys. So that's our Sun Salutation A, Surya Namaskar A, broken down for you at home. Namaste, wild heart yogis.